All right, so by this point, we are ready to complete our homework assignment, which is one worksheet called Jesus Appears to the Disciples. Now this relates to the resurrection, the reading that we already read in John. And so we wanna look at this as a completion of understanding a little bit more about what's happening and what Jesus um, not only said, but how we would respond to that. So again, make a copy just like you did before. Um, I'm not gonna go through the details of that. If you wanna go through that, make sure you watch the previous video, but making a copy right here will allow you to, again, highlight this part only, type your name, period number, and then hit okay to save that, okay? When you have that new tab open, you can start editing your own document that you've renamed. So be sure to follow those steps in the previous video where I explain the classwork worksheet. Now, for this assignment, part one is going to be to read Luke 24, that's chapter 24, verse 35 through 48. It's really important because again, it gives us context as to what's happening. The disciples experienced many different emotions when they saw the risen Lord, when they saw Jesus in his risen state for the very first time. So, um, we want to read that first. Remember to go to USCCB. And just as a refresher, as a reminder, um, I provided that link for you. And you can find um, the scripture verses here. So make sure you find first by chapter and then find the verses that you are, that you are reading. So part two, once we've read our scripture verse, we have a clear visual of what's happening somewhat of an understanding of what and who is saying what. Now we're gonna draw and label some of the emotions in the faces of the, of the disciples um, that maybe uh, we think best represent how they felt. And so you can save these images ahead of time and place them here in these spaces, or you can actually um, draw them and you can upload this as a photo. Um, you can scan it, upload it as a photo, upload it into Google Classroom that way if you want to draw. Um, now, I can't show you how to draw directly on this screen right now. Um, however, just know that there is um, a way that you'll be able to kind of do something with this. First of all, we can delete that circle and we can start to um, insert a drawing. And then if you want to do a new drawing, you can actually use this format here to draw whatever that might be that you want to draw. So again, um, usually a scribbled option will work. So if you want to draw something um, like a face, um, they were very shocked, right? Um, you can do that if you want to be creative. Um, I'm not a very good drawer on this feature, as some of you might also relate. Um, so we're going to, unfortunately, delete that beautiful drawing that I just made. We're going to save and close and notice that there's nothing there. So we're going to delete that and make sure your cursor is in the space where you're adding something so it doesn't ruin the rest of the formatting of the document. So in this case, instead of drawing, I think it's easier to insert an image. So again, upload from computer will allow you to do that. And um, if you saved an image, again, you can find it in your desktop. You can place it in there and you'll be good to go. However, if you would like to find an image, um, insert image, up, uh, search the web, will allow you to find something that you think best represents what you're thinking. Um, so it's an emoji, um, faces. Um, so if I wanna do that, I can kind of like, you know, think about what they might've been feeling or thinking and make sure that you're being, you know, respectful to the context of what's happening. This looks like a, a very shocked look. Um, I wanna make sure that uh, I actually found something that I actually like and I think it makes sense. So this is really important. 
we want to make sure we resize our images so that they're appropriate for the assignment. Um, so you can see I had my cursor here. So when I select the image, it goes right where my cursor was, right? So be sure to do that. And they can do that for the rest of the three. Now I left a line here where you can kind of explain, um, you can type here what, why you put that particular image or what it represents, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and undo what we did because we need this document to be clear for the assignment. So thanks for following along with part two. Really, hopefully um, helpful for you. Now, um, we are gonna look at part three just briefly. The directions are to imagine you were on the road with the disciples walking when Jesus appeared to them in Jerusalem. How would you react? This is uh, the key part of the assignment is being able to express, you know, what our response would be and understanding that even today in our modern experience of faith, in our current situation, in our life, in our personal reflection, there is a way for us to respond to what Jesus said, even at that time. So we start with Jesus, peace be with you. And then what would you respond um, to each of these items. And I would recommend, again, going back to the scripture verse and kind of doing a little bit of reflection on, okay, what 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 would I really be feeling or how would I feel now? Once you're done filling these in, um, you can just highlight the line and type what you need to type there. Um, that's it. That's the entire assignment. Make sure you upload it to Google Classroom. If you have any questions, be sure to email me, greyes at piousmathias.org. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was helpful for you. See you soon.